Hello. Today I'm going to be doing a possibly overdone video that a lot of people have done. I'm going to do a what's in your purse video. Um, so mostly I just am doing this as an excuse to talk about my purse. So we'll do that for a minute first. Um, this is my first Betsy Johnson purse. I've been meaning to get one for a long time. A lot of my friends really love Betsy Johnson. A lot of Lolitas in general really love Betsy Johnson. Um, before this purse, I was using a Baby the Star Shine Bright bag as a daily purse for, I want to say it lasted me at least a year or two. And then after that I was using an Angelic Pretty bag. And this bag, after I beat the other two to death, I ended up with this bag. Um, this bag is so much sturdier than either of the other ones. Um, I've had it for months, and by now the other ones would be showing wear, but there's not really scuffs or stains on this, and I don't really try super hard to take good care of it. Like I said, I've been using it as a daily purse, like tearing around this around every day. I'm not especially gentle with my purses, so I'm impressed with how well it's holding up. And with my experience with this bag, I would honestly recommend sticking to buying purses from actual purse brands rather than Baby the Star Shine Bright or Angelic Pretty. And yeah, they come out with really cute purses, but I mean, look at this. This is adorable. It's also a lot cheaper than an Angelic Pretty or maybe the Starshine Bright purse in addition to holding up for longer. Um, I think I got this on sale for $40 and if you know where to look it's pretty easy to find Betsy Johnson purses on sale for $40. So check out some department stores for really cute purses. And keep an eye out for this brand. I really love the giant bow on the front and especially the pearls, the little dots of pearls. I usually don't have it all snapped up like this because I'm lazy and I just need it unsnapped. It's also got a strap if too much stuff isn't covering it up so that it can be used in the shoulder bag. I was using the strap a lot at first because I was used to using a shoulder bag and then I ended up just getting used to using these straps so I don't really bother with this strap a lot anymore. So anyways, I really like this purse a lot. It's very good. But I said we were going to do a What's in My Purse video, so I'm going to show you a What's in My Purse video. Um, first off, I've got some water. Important, stay hydrated. I've got a little pocket with lip products in it. It's got a Too Faced lipstick, a Too Faced tinted lip balm, which has been discontinued and was like my favorite and almost out. So I was like, yeah. And then I realized that this is my new favorite. This is the Too Faced peach oil lip gloss. I usually don't like lip gloss at all. It's all sticky and my hair wants to stick in it and it gets on everything. I don't like lip gloss. I like this lip oil lip gloss. Um, a lot. And it smells heavenly. I love it. I think I'm going to go back and get more colors. But yeah. Can you tell that I like Too Faced a lot? Then I've got my wallet. I've had this wallet for a long time so it's kind of stained. I've got a Hello Kitty wallet that I think I bought from like a local Asian gift shop. I've got my cell phone. It's got a pink otter box to keep it safe. Everything pink. I've got a very large, cute, happy planner, notebook planner thing that my wonderful boyfriend got me. I love how it's pink and I love this gold heart and this button has a gold heart too. It's really, really cute. I have not gotten around to using it a lot. 
but it's very good. And I bought, I've only got about half of it in here, but I bought a bunch of extra plain blank white paper so I can use it as a diary, sketchbook, whatever. So I've got a bunch of plain paper in there too. And this is one of the deluxe covers, which is why it looks so nice. I've got another notebook, another good notebook for some specific research I'm working on. I've got, guess what, another notebook. Um, this is one I keep on me at work all the time. It's got like passwords that I probably shouldn't have written down, but I would never remember otherwise. And mostly work stuff, but also my to-do lists. Um, down at the bottom I've got my work keys on a sugar bunny shop lanyard. Cupcake kitty. Very cute. I've got two Hello Kitty pens. Another lip balm, an EOS lip balm. <laughs> Lots of lip stuff. No other cosmetics really though. Then I've got medicine. Got my five old medicine. More medicine. Allergy pills. Some old movie tickets. Not that old. Avengers. Saw that recently. And more pills. Oh! A tiny purple highlighter with a little dog on it. It's cute. I need like a pencil case in here at this point. And in here I have some tea bags for if I go to karaoke and they've only got like lived in. Lipton tastes like grass. Don't drink Lipton. Don't do that to yourself. Got my name tag. The work. Um, some mints. A tiny, tiny deodorant. I don't think I've actually opened this. Ooh, it smells very good. It's lavender and rose. It's from Native Deodorant. They've got these tiny deodorant bars that you can put in your purse for on the go. And they'll usually give you one for free with your order and you get to pick the scent. So, tiny deodorant. Chocolate bar. Some of these clippy thingies for paperwork. And I think that's it. I guess I got a bunch of hair ties in here. Just little hair ties for my braided pigtails. So yeah, that's everything that's in my brush right now. So yep. It doesn't look like as much when it's out of my purse. I feel like I usually have so much junk in my purse. I really love how big this purse is. I forgot to mention, I was using this um, little, like, this big angelic pretty purse for a while. I don't know if it lasted a year. It was really worn out. It was about to, like, one of the straps was just about to rip by the time I got rid of it. But, um, I was using this tiny purse for so long and I just really missed having a big purse, which is why I got such a very large purse. But it's so cute and big and so much. The other day I literally put, like, two bottles of wine in my purse and just went like that. Um, it didn't have the big notebook in it at the time, but it fit with all my other stuff. Just two bottles of wine in my purse, ready to go. So I like having a big purse. It's a little cumbersome at times, but I like it. And I love this purse. And I would definitely buy another purse from Betsy Johnson in the future. So, let me know if this was entertaining, let me know if there's any other videos you want to see, and let me know what you think about
brand versus versus Etsy Johnson, for example, or if you have any other really cutesy, not Japanese purse brands you'd like to recommend, because I'd love to hear about it. Just let me know in the comments, and I'll see you next time.